everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Today I want to sniff for the very first time a new release from the house of Byredo. It's called Animalique. I have the sample here. I haven't seen any reviews of this, but I have heard about the scent. I might have mentioned this one in a previous new release video in the past, but I don't remember anything about the notes. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a first impressions and first sniff. Just based on the name Animalique, I'm kind of assuming that it's going to be a strong, musky, super animalic, maybe pungent kind of scent. Uh, maybe something skanky or dirty, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes, see if it's a hit or miss, and then afterwards I will um, read out the notes. So let's give this one a very first sniff by Rado Animalique release for 2023. Hmm, this one is not really screaming super animalic. It's not giving me animalic kind of vibes. <laughs> uh, what I'm getting here is a strong musky scent, a powdery musky scent, and also leather but not a dirty leather. It's reminding me of a very soft, smooth, supple leather, something delicate, like a lambskin leather and powder. There's an earthiness in the background as well, um, but the imagery that I'm getting is a very expensive designer leather lambskin handbag and inside the handbag you have your powder compact and it broke so all of the powder has spread the powder pieces the compact it all spread inside of um, the bag and so when you open the bag you get this really big hit in the face of powder makeup powder mixing in with the scent of leather. So, hmm, very cozy, warm. Maybe there's some woodsiness in here as well. Yeah, but I'm not thinking of like an animalic kind of thing. It's not giving me animalic vibes but a very sexy, elegant, leathery powder kind of scent. But of course I'll test it on skin to see how it smells and how it dries down and everything. But right now that is what I'm getting. And right now I think it is very, very nice. Okay, so let's see what the notes are for Animalique from Byredo. Uh, first of all, I'll show you guys what the bottle looks like here. So it looks exactly the same as everything else in the collection, at least with the regular collection. The main accords are powdery, leather, violet, musky, yellow floral, amber floral, tobacco, and sweet. There's also tobacco at the bottom of the accords list here. And I think that's interesting because now I'm imagining you have some broken cigars that are also in the handbag along with that powder. Okay, so the top notes are bergamot lemon, middle notes are violet and mimosa, base notes are suede, amber, and tobacco leaf. So yeah, I think it's nice. Probably not something for me because it isn't really something I would reach for often. It's not my style, but now that leather note is starting to come forward, it's getting stronger on the test trip. So maybe, maybe as this dries down, that earthy tobacco leather starts to come forward, maybe giving off a more animalic kind of vibe. But right now, I'm not really thinking of that. 
<laughs> but I'm curious how it dries down. So those were my quick first impressions of Anna Malik from Byredo. If you've tried the scent, I would love to hear your opinion about it down in the comments. Thanks so much for tuning in today and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Take care guys. Bye-bye.